morning, brothers and sisters. Interesting morning. I've just come out of prayer and, and petition with the Lord. I've just come downstairs to do this video in the van. Why downstairs? Because I, it's my sanctuary. <laughs> okay, It's just a place I'm comfortable in. There's nobody in the house. We could walk around the house, but I just like being here. It's become a place of where the work started. I started in the van. And I started with faith. This is a message of encouragement, brothers and sisters. I started, I got fed up of not working for the Lord after knowing him all my life, most of my life, most coming up 50 years now. I've not gone past 50 years when I asked him into my life in faith. And I stayed with the Lord in faith. Whatever was thrown at me, whether it be Jehovah's Witness or Mormon or everything came my way. And I knew this was right. And I stayed and never denied Jesus. That's the gospel. I've promised the Lord to get the gospel out daily. As long as I can. As long as I have good health. As long as I can have a camera. I'm going to keep on preaching the gospel message. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you are saved. You are saved. He did that on the cross. We don't have to work. Works will follow. I've got to say this. There is salvation scripture in the description of this video. If you want to know more about Jesus, do join us on Discord. Do join us on Discord. Because... That's the only place I can send you because there are, and I've been blessed last night. Blessed last night. I was blessed last night. Hard at work. I don't do enough work in there because I can't at the moment. Brothers and sisters, I will work in there with you when I get, when God says. Okay, but I just thank so many people in there. There are 788 people in Discord. We have... We have become so big as a fellowship that we have to, I've got another server going called the same so we can spread out and we'll keep on doing it as the Lord directs in because Mary prophesied or dreamed that the, the floodgates would open in there. We know it's of the Lord to, to set that up. We don't know when we set out how the Lord will fertilize our ministry. I, and I just quote from Mary again, the manure of my past is the fertilizer of my future. I, 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 I always remember that because it is. Because it was 48 years, 49, 50 years ago, a long time ago when I was 16 and a half, that I just accepted Christ. And I came from a heathen, unbelieving family, a large family, family with mum and dad of eight. And I had to find my way. So I was an easy meat for the enemy, but the Lord never failed me. And I never failed him in one respect. I never denied him. He was always my Jesus, whether I was close to him or not. And if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart and keep these things in your heart, whether you're weak or you're strong, you are saved. He will take you through the fire. He'll bring you into a ministry. When I set up this ministry, I didn't know it was going to be a ministry. I just knew after all these years and 10 years on this uh, YouTube doing other channels that I had to do this or I wanted to do it. It was my desire and God will grant the desires of your heart. So I did it. And he has watered this ministry. And I, it's his. And discord is his, not mine. It belongs to Jesus. My character, <laughs> I... I see people that really can love the Lord. And, and I love the Lord, but our characters are so different. Don't worry about your character. He has designed you beautifully and wonderfully in his image to do a work, whether you think so or not. My character is more like Martha than Mary. My character is more like Peter than John. You know, and oh, how I did. And it brought me to tears this morning because I realized whichever I'm like, he loves me like he loved John. He loves me like he loved Mary. His love is beyond what I could comprehend. But the gospel every day, I promote 
everyone I find that fits in to the gospel and keeping lamps lit because we know the end is near. And then I've read books all my life about the end and the rapture and none have made sense until now. The Bible is making sense. And it all is the key to Israel. Israel is God's clock. And when they became a nation in 1948, that was the tick down clock. The last generation, a generation being 70 to 80 years. We're in it. It's coming. We're not doing prophecy this morning because I felt to do this. We're looking at the videos I'm putting out. Two other people are getting, are getting promoted by my channel every day if I can, if I have the stamina to keep it up. Pray for me, brothers and sisters, that I will not falter or fail in anything I've been given to do. Back to Discord. We've been called to the Great Commission. All of us. Now, don't fear if you're starting out in Christ. He has a plan. It took many, many years and it's not over yet with me, but it took many, many years to get to where I am because he had to deal with the manure in my life. He had to deal with it. He had to direct me to where I was strong enough to do his worst because a bruised reed won't break. I had to be bruised. I had to be bruised in my instance. So I won't break under pressure. All these things will fit into your life. All these things will come to fruition if only you will keep him at the center of your life, in your mind, whatever you're going through. Whatever you're going through, just say, Jesus, whatever you're going through, just keep it there that he saved you in the first place and that nothing else can do the work. Nothing else can save you but Jesus Christ. He came on the cross 2,000 years ago died and rose again. He was God. God came in the flesh of the flesh he created in his image. Everything else is fake. Everything else is deceit and deception. It's not hard. His yoke is light, the acceptance of him. He did the work on the cross. There are a lot of people would say, well, I want, I want, I want, I'd like to, I'd like, so did I. But put yourself at the foot of the table. He will move you up. After he's refined you, he's got to work. Whether, whether I love him like Mary in my heart, whether I love him like John, his chosen disciple. Didn't Peter get jealous? <laughs> That's how I see myself. I see some people who really know Jesus and love him like that. And I, I, I'm a worker. My ethics, my, the way I was born and brought up was work ethics. Uh, Jesus, God had planned it. That's the way God planned it, as Billy Preston would say. Because he had a work at the end, now. He might have taken me before now. There's two occasions in my life, perhaps three, where I, I could have been killed. But he didn't. I should have broke bones, but I haven't. I realize his hand has been on me and anyone who's confessed in him from beginning to end. And the end is glorious. But brothers and sisters, my advice is sit at the bottom of the table. He will move you up. He will move you up. He will move you up. Don't try and get up here. Don't, don't covet what I've got. Don't want what I've got. Because much is given, much is required. This tires me. But fortunately, I've got a great team. I've got an excellent team that the Lord has put around us. And people coming in every day. I, 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 and they're strong into Discord. They're strong people. The Lord has prepared a way. And he'll prepare a way for you. And you will be glorified and sanctified in his name. And you will stand in paradise forever. Forever. Brothers and sisters, I'm going to leave you with that short one from the heart this morning. And as usual, say, may God bless you, keep you, make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you this day until he comes. God bless.